Hey, what's up everybody? Mike here with another video review. And as you can see, we're looking at Deluxe Autobot Ratchet. This is an entirely new mold, because we all know the original Ratchet was a Voyager. He's been downgraded to a Deluxe. Why? I don't know. I'm not sure why Hasbro did this. And as you can see, I have not got him back into transform into a vehicle form fully. There's still some panels sticking out, but I think I got him now. And I have only transformed him once, just like Lockdown. So there will be struggling with this guy, but it's only Deluxe and he's not that hard to transform, unlike some other Revenge of the Fallen figures, well, any movie figure really. So, as you can see, he's a Hummer, H2 Hummer, whatever you call it. Rolls pretty good. He has a lot of junk under here that is just sticking out down here and it just gets in the way of the wheels. I might have him transformed wrong, who knows, but it's just it's a lot of a lot of extra baggage down there. So he has a missile, a gun, I guess, on the top of the, the uh, car here, or truck. And you shoot it, it goes pretty good. It goes I bet it'd go pretty far. Won't hurt anybody though. So, pretty nifty. And that's pretty much it. The transformation on this guy is completely different from Voyager. Of course it would be, since it has a different class. So let's go ahead and remove the gun. And first what you want to do is you take the uh, back panels here and you open them up. Pull them out like that, and then you take this, you rotate it all the way up, you fold it down like that, and bring the legs out, bring them all the way out. Take these heels right here and spread them apart, just like that. There we go. You take it to the knee and you turn it at the knee, like so. And then, what you want to do is you take the arms here, attach them from these little pegs in here. Okay. And then just kind of work everything out. Just, just boom, just like that. Just work everything out. It's worse like that. And you take these panels right here and you fold them back. Fold them back. They kind of get caught and stuck or whatever. So then, what you want to do is just get these doors out of the way here. Kind of rotate them up, get them out of the way. Kind of fold them in if you want to. Just like that. Just fold them in. And you take his upper half. Let's see here. Right here, and you, you just want to. Or rotate it. Just rotate it all the way around. And there you go. No, I'm just kidding. That would look goofy, wouldn't it? So, straighten out the arms here. Okay. Get the uh, shoulder pads and everything into place. Let's see here. There we go. And then, take the head. You tuck it under here, and you bring the chest area over the head, and it goes through a little hole. There's a little uh, slot for the clip. You put that in, and then you clip it to the waist, and it should stay in there pretty tight. So, now you just got to get everything situated again. And you have Ratchet in robot mode so there you go a little bit of a kibble right here I wish they could have found a way to add a few more joints where you can fold it back or something and these shoulder pads are unusually big unfortunately that's how they're supposed to go but oh well alright just gotta deal with what you're given so but that's my main problem is just too much kibble on the shoulders and the, the side of the leg here. Other than that, it's a really good figure. 
articulation. The head looks up, goes side to side. The arms rotate all the way around. Even with the kibble in the way, you kind of have to you kind of have to force it. They go out to about there. You could probably situate it, make it go a little further. Turn at the uh, upper part of the arm, bend at the elbow. No waist articulation. Legs go forward, go back, turn at the knee, and at the ankle. Bend at the knee, and the ankle is on a ball joint, so it can do all these wonderful different poses. So, <laughs> yay, he fell down. There you go. Pretty cool figure. I like him. I think I like Voyager better. But this one's this one's all right. I think it's probably more movie accurate than the Voyager is. But um, there's Mech alive in the legs, and um, on the arm, of course, the main feature. See these gears in here? You take the uh, the gun here and you put it in a little hole here, and something rotates up. Let's see if you can see it. See that? I'm not sure what that is. I guess I should read the uh, instructions and see and see what that is. But it's probably just another gun, EMP or something, right? One of the two. So Ratchet's gun can actually do something which is pretty interesting. Bring in Locke down here, who's just hanging out. Um, and you take Ratchet's gun off of his arm. Get rid of the missile because it just gets in the way. Take off Lockdown's forearm engine cannon and attach a much bigger cannon and lockdown is now more deadlier you can call it whatever you want EMP gun cannon whatever it's all up to you so pretty awesome pretty awesome let's go ahead and put it back in ratchet put the missile back in and I guess that's pretty much it. That's all I gotta say about him. His head. I like the head. It's more movie accurate, I think. Could have used a little bit more detail, but that's alright. But anyway, there you guys go. Deluxe Revenge of the Fallen movie ratchet. If you don't have him and you see him, pick him up. I think it's well worth it. Good figure. So, alrighty. You guys have a good day.